Text, Mathena, A Girl's Journey Between Cultures, Removed from Traditional Life, Adopted into Western Colonial Society, and Returned to the Fragments of Her Heritage. A Dark Space. White text on screen. Father. Two black hands painted white cling to a solitary rock on the dark stage. An Aboriginal man springs into view and peers into the darkness. White stripes are painted on his body. He lifts the rock and lowers his ear to it slightly as he kneels. He gets slowly to his feet and lifts the rock to his left shoulder. He stands with legs apart and moves the rock slowly across his body to his right thigh. He lifts the rock high above his head and then onto his left shoulder. The man holds the rock close as the lights fade to black. An Aboriginal woman stands in a girly red dress, her hair slicked back. She is Mathina. She watches as a white woman in a green dress gets a pair of shoes from a chest of drawers. The woman spins across to Mathina and places the shoes at her feet. She takes some red socks off her hands and places them on Mathina's feet adoringly. She smiles at Mathina lovingly as she places the shoes on her feet too. Mathina looks at her new shoes as the woman hurries to a piano and starts to play. She swivels on the piano stool. Mathena walks awkwardly to the woman as she plays the piano elegantly. The woman wheels the piano stool to the center of the room. Mathena sits on it, transfixed by her new shoes. The woman in the green dress gives Mathena an open black book. I'm a good little girl. I have pen and ink because I'm a good little girl. The woman has given Mathina a red dress doll with blonde hair. She spins Mathina on the chair and drags it backwards. Mathina holds the doll sadly. The woman takes the doll and places it in a cot. She gestures to Mathina to get into the cot too. Mathina does. The cot rocks slightly as Mathina lays down beside the doll. The woman gestures for Mathina to sleep and then she drifts away into the darkness. Mathina lays curled up in the cot, fade to black. Text, moonshine. Mathina crawls across a hazy stage, her black hair now unkempt. Several glass jars stand in the space. She crawls toward one. More figures in red dresses crawl into the space, pushing their own glass jars ahead of them. Mathina clutches hers to her chest protectively. Two of the red-dressed figures pour clear liquid into Mathina's jar. She beams. As she drinks from her jar, the five other figures shift their jars around their heads and torsos. Mathina flops backward from her jar as the other figures writhe and shift languidly around their own jars. 
As Mathina sits up groggily, the red-dressed figures place more jars before her. Mathina's head lolls drunkenly as she gets to her feet. Her red dress has fallen from her shoulders slightly, and she sways amid the mass of jars. The other figures disappear, leaving Mathina standing blankly. Her red dress falls from her torso. Mathina slowly steps out of the red dress and lays it amid the jars. She wears only brown undergarments. She lays down on the stage and gazes through the glass of the empty jars. Fade to black. Title, Bangara Dance Theatre, Mathina, A Girl's Journey Between the Cultures. An image of the red-dressed Mathina and a bare-chested male dancer reaching for her. Credits, Artistic Director Stephen Page. Choreography, Stephen Page. Music, David Page. Set design, Peter England. Costume design, Jennifer Irwin. Lighting design, Damien Cooper. A very special thanks to the Tasmanian Aboriginal community, especially Lola Greeno and Vicky Matson Green. Bangara wishes to acknowledge the traditional indigenous peoples whose customs and cultures inspire our work. Performed at Theatre Royal Hobart 2010. The logo for Bangara. bangara.com.au